Roswell Flight Test Crew here at NAB 2015, and I'm talking to Stephen Burt from Aero Technology International. How are you doing, Stephen? Good, Patrick. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you here again. Now, we only ever meet out of Oregon. We both, we live about 20 miles away from each other, but we only meet outside the state of Oregon. It's kind of strange. I think I see you in Las Vegas and other places far more than we ever see you in our hometown. <laughs> no, I know. We've got to get past that. Anyway, you and your hand are holding something that looks like a flying R2-D2. Why don't you tell me about this bad boy? Well, this is the ATI AgBot. This is an industrial quadcopter designed specifically for farming precision agriculture. Wow. Now, what do you need to make an effective precision agriculture drone? Well, you need something that's easy, simple, durable, and more effectively has a sensor on it that can provide valuable data to the farmers. So that's a good point. I mean, your average farmer doesn't want to be an RC guy. He wants to be a farmer. So what have you done to make this easy for the farmers to use? Well, we've made it into a single case solution that's very simple to use. It's tablet-based. We pre-program the flight plan for them. All they need to do is pull it out of the box, set it up in about five minutes. It's launched in a waypoint mission. It comes back, you pull the SD card out of the multispectral camera. You upload that to the cloud. And in about 24 to 48 hours, you're going to get an NDVI map back. An NDVI map, what is that? Well, it's basically a map that's going to show you the relative health of your crop. And the beauty of this is that you can see the health and the problems in your crop typically two weeks before it's ever visible to the naked eye. Two weeks before it's visible? Yeah, so we're allowing farmers to make proactive decisions where typically they have to wait for some type of uh, ailment to start to show, yellowing of the leaves, a pest outbreak, and then they have to react to it. We're allowing them to catch these things before they ever become a problem. That's amazing. Now, what's kind of the special sauce here? You've got something on there that's not just a normal camera, right? Right, so we're using the Micasense multispectral camera. It's it is a five-band camera. It has a red, green, blue filter, a near IR, and a red edge filter. In combination, you can run these through software, and they give you back very valuable data about the, about the crops. I see, I see. And so this thing is, 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 is flying autonomously. I mean, this is not... Do you even sell a radio at this thing, or is it just the tablet? It's an option. Some farmers like to have the fun of flying it around, but we basically make it a fully autonomous turnkey solution. No headaches, as simple as it can get. Full, sing single case, out of the box. And I just have to ask, because I'm a multi-rotor guy, sort of what are the basics in terms of its flying time, that sort of thing? Well, so a big one for us was maximizing the flight time. So we went to a three-prop configuration, industrial KDE motors. We can get almost a 40-minute flight time out of this, which is very good for a multi-rotor. Now, that's, that's, that's actually a pretty reasonable weight. What kind of batteries is it carrying? We run a 15,000 milliamp hour pack on it. That's one of the ways we get the long flight time. So with some beefy motors and some good props and an, a carbon fiber and all aircraft uh, grade aluminum frame, lightweight is, is the way we maximize the flight time. Well, that's, that is a pretty slick package. Now, I noticed something else behind us here that's a little larger. Do you want to tell us about this amazing trailer you pulled into the convention center here? Well, obviously, we're at NAB, so we needed to bring out something a little bit larger than the AgBot. So we've partnered with Shutt's Trailer to create a, the ATI Lander, which is a drone deploy center. Basically, we have a landing pad on top that can support a variety of different aircrafts. We have a water, uh, a water heater in here. We have a refrigerator, air compressor, generator, everything you would need to operate out in the field for about a week to support a two-man crew in any kind of a drone deploy mission. That is amazing. So is this the, the ultimate design, or have you got, is, there, is there a version 2 coming? So this is version 1, and we, we got this done very recently. Now we're into testing mode. We're going to go out, we're going to put it in the field, we're going to test it, refine it, and come back with our wish list. And I can tell you we've got a number of things that are going to be coming in version 2 that are really going to wow people. <laughs> Outstanding. I was like, well, Stephen, I will let you put that drone down. Thank you so much for um, taking the time with us today, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you. All right, and from NAB 2015, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.